Let me guess. Thunderstorm? Thunderstorm. No, 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 no. I hate thunderstorms. got all my powers to help me. The imaginary world of the autistic. When I, whether we are neurotypical or not, all through our lives we all develop coping mechanisms, ways to react and protect ourselves in our environment. For Max, his ASD often brings a very upsetting vision of the world that surrounds him. His reaction? Wonderment. Max, like many people with an ASD, has built a fantasy world filled with magic, beauty, wonders, and powers to help himself feel well and safe. For his loved ones, it is essential to accept the existence of the imaginary world, and to even enter it from time to time. Attempting to demolish it results in also demolishing his self-esteem, his security, and his well-being. Max? Oh, Lala! Max, that's a big thunderstorm. Oof. It's okay, Max. Try to breathe deeply, okay? Alright. There you go, kid. So far, the, the breathing exercise has been the most helpful to Max in this. Max, did you try to turn on the lights? In fact, I'll try to turn on the lights. Great idea. Let me guess, the electricity is out. Try it again. Yeah, great job! Now we have flashlight, again. <laughs> You're very brave, Max. Keep it up. Go ahead, take all your powers and face that terrible thunderstorm. That's true. I'll grab all my powers and go see Jimmy. Alright, so... I'll grab my sultry. I'll grab my earmuffs. Breathing. Magic markers. And the wall. I think that's it, right? Oh, and the King of Monsters. Makes sense. Alright, I have all my powers back. I'm gonna go see Jimmy. Has a lot of things to carry. Maybe you shouldn't use your school bag? In fact, I think I'll use my school bag to carry my powers. Great idea. It's not like the game's kind of giving me a hit. Alright, all my powers are in my bag. Alright, in fact, now I'm ready to go see Jimmy. Great idea. Alright. Oh, that's bright. Yes. Let's save again for safety. Hey, Jimmy's already up. Hey, Jimmy, in fact, there's a big thunderstorm outside. I know, Max. Good thing you got your flashlight. In fact, my inner voice told me to get it. Okay. But why do you have, why do you have your school bag? In fact, it's to carry all my powers. Uh, okay, whatever. Go ahead, I'll follow you. We should go talk to Dad and G and Gage upstairs. In fact, I'll light the way. Yes, Max, that's the point. <laughs> ah, damn. I don't remember where I left my glasses. I was playing in the basement before. Can we please go look for my glasses? Great idea! You could probably also put a shirt on, Jimmy, just saying. But that's fine. Did you leave it in the bathroom, perhaps? No. That would have been the first place I would have thought of, but... Eh. Oh, there they are. In fact, here are your glasses, Jimmy. Thanks, Max. That's good. Don't want you fighting 
without glasses in case we have monsters to worry about. Alright. Guess we'll go upstairs and see where the dad is. I'm gonna talk to everyone before. Oh, okay. By Odin's beard! Charles. We said that ten times in a row and it wasn't even funny the first time. By Odin's beard, by Odin's beard, by Odin's beard. Charles, stop saying that. By Odin's beard, by Odin's beard, by Odin's beard. Ugh, you're such a pain. Ah, oh, there they are. Do you know if there are any batteries anywhere? Friggin' batteries, when you need them, they all disappear. We have three flashlights and not one is working. Max, what the heck are you doing with your school bag? In fact, it's to carry my powers. Bravo, Max, that's a wonderful idea. Yes, Max, wonderful. Okay, Max, give me your flashlight, please, so I can go look for more batteries. Max, can I please have your flashlight? Seriously, I'm not in any freaking mood to play games. Max? Steph? Sorry, Max, I didn't mean to yell. Max, could you and your brother go find us plenty of other D batteries so we can use the other flashlights, please? There must be plenty around the house and the drawers and such. There might be some in the TV stand in the living room and in your rooms, too, and some toys. How many do we need? Well, it's two batteries per flashlight. We have three, so... Six batteries. In fact, two times three equals six. Yes, Max. You can make it a game if you'd like. You'll ask Charles and Ellie if they want to join you. It could be an adventure on another planet. Come, Max. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, my dear. You're welcome, baby. Hey, you guys want to come with us? We're going to search the house for batteries for the flashlights. Okay, let's go. Max, why do you have your school bag? It's to carry my powers. Okay, can we move or something? Hey, any extra help is always needed. Cool, let's hope no one rains on our brain. Lol. Yuck, yuck, Jimmy. Okay, in fact, we have to watch out for the mutant lightning zappers who will turn to try to zap us with their electric shocks. In fact, we can destroy them with our powers. In fact, that's the reason I have my school bag. Cool. That's a cool design for an enemy. Mm, Jimmy looks awfully hurt. That's a problem. What, are you, what can you do, kid? Eh, you got quite a few powers, too, similar to mine. I guess you can attack. What can you do? I like how you have one that's called God Save the Queen. And let's see. Oh, you can par paralyze all of them, huh? That's nifty. Paralyze the one. I did not mean to do that. I'll put some mice on you. Oh, what? 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 It only goes to Max. That's kind of dumb. That is really weird. There we go. I guess you can just attack then. Oh no, Jimmy's down. Alright, 
hang on, Jimmy. Very useful. Nice. All right, let's save after that. All right, so you said to look around and stuff. There's a D battery right there. That's one. Five more to go. I kind of want to check around up here, upstairs, or down here first before I make any rash decisions to do anything else. No, I don't see any others. Here. This is in the bathroom, which is a possibility. No. Okay, so I'll try upstairs first. Ow. Okay, no, don't touch anything, understand? I'm serious, Charles. you put a screamer there? Sorry for anybody who was not expecting a jump scare. I certainly wasn't. There we go. Stupid jump scares. That was just absolutely rude. Why would that happen? <laughs> well, everybody leveled up at least. Got a battery. But yeah, never do that to me again, please. That was just plain rude. Don't appreciate being jump scared. Okay, now don't touch anything, blah, 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 because I'm such a precious little princess, understand? <laughs> Lol. <sighs> Moron. You're not gonna jump scare me too, are you? God damn it. Why do you gotta put jump scares in this game, dude? That's just not nice. There we go. <sighs> Glad that's over. Got another battery at least. But yeah, seriously, no jump scares, please. I don't appreciate the jump with the scares. It's not necessary. Plus the line boy fighting the whole way, so that's a plus. Alright, let's try downstairs then. Keep doing the jump scares. As obnoxious. Well, that was easy. Hey, good job. You leveled up, as did you and you. Why is my older brother weaker than everybody else? Just kind of funny that way. Anyway. Jimmy, do you have any batteries in your room? Ah, you do. Jump scare? Three, two, one? Yep. Okay, thank you. Why they gotta do jump scares, man? Why you gotta be like that, man? It's not cool, man. I haven't tried this one out yet. Let's see what this does. Oh, 
Oh, wow. No wonder that takes a hundred. That's like an instant kill, practically. Wow. Okay, I just got a lot of stuff out of that. Alright, well, we found five. We just need one more. Which is nice. I'm gonna have to fight you to get around, aren't I? Very well. This shouldn't take too long. Everybody else has now as efficient time to, uh, to train as Max has. Okay. Prepare... ...for another jump scare, guys. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's quite a nightmare. Let's see. Let's see how we do against this nightmare. That's already starting off on a bad foot. But we'll see what we can do. Ow, that hurt. But at least with uh, Jimmy and Charles combined triple attacks, this guy should go down pretty quickly. He's going down a lot faster than, uh, than the King of Monsters, I'll give you that. That's even better. Dang it. This just keeps getting better and better. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, no. This is bad. Okay, that definitely helps, so. though. Alright, you. You're only down to a little bit left. Hopefully he doesn't sprout uh, more heads like a Hydra. We'll see. Come on. You're almost dead, Nightmare. Yeah. Now, are we done with the jump scares, please? Can we get back to normal society and not have to be tortured again? Wow, everybody really leveled up on that one. Alright, uh-oh. What's wrong? We won! Hmm, not so sure. Yeah, it's never that simple in other games. Look! Your life force is no more. Prepare yourselves for an eternity of pain. Now yeah, I'm fighting the Grim Reaper. How many times do I have to keep doing this? Like seriously, this is three boss fights already. But okay. 
Oh no. Oh no 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 no. This is bad. This is bad. Would you let me let me do something here? There we go. Alright, and you can raise him. Don't Yeah. Okay. That's at least a little better. Ah, crud, there goes Charles again. All right, let's try using the King of Monsters on you. See if that does anything. again because everyone's getting injured throw a giant rock at you Electric death was not very nice. Hey, not bad though. Everybody leveled up. Ugh, fantastic. One more battery. We won! Yes, now it's for real. Yeah. In fact, it's just like when King of Monsters and King Gargantua decided to fight for it. Yes, Max. Let's bring all those batteries to Dad. Good idea. Let's get the heck out of here. Let's also save our game, because that took a while, and I don't want to have to do that again. six batteries? Yes, Papa. In fact, I was so scared. Yeah, it was pretty dark, especially downstairs. Good thing we had your flashlight, Max. Me? I wasn't scared. <laughs> You're the most chicken of us all. Shut up. In fact, it was like when the King of Monsters fought Gargantua and then the... Yes, Max. Great job. You really worked well together. If only it could be like that every day. Hey, honey? Yeah, keep dreaming. <laughs> And there it is. Once again, we did not manage to live up to your impossible expectations. Wow. What a surprise. Ellie, seriously. Sheesh. You know we're proud of all of you. Yeah, well, I have my doubts. Hello. Alright, alright. Give me the batteries, please. I'll turn on the other flashlights. There. Of course. Yeah, I know. It's like you go through all that and... Yes! Let there be light. 
wonderful light. Yeah, that was freaking worth it. I knew it was gonna come back on. No, you didn't. It's fine. You can all go back to your rooms and we'll come tuck you in. And give you a big, huge, great hug for your wonderful work. Door. I guess that's up uh, to number 21. Special certificate for courage in a thunderstorm. The whole family is very proud of you and loves you very much. No. For the parent of a child with an ASD, it can sometimes seem depressingly futile to give out a lot of positive reinforcement. Especially if the child is verbally non-communicative, it can sometimes feel like a wasted effort. Caress and, caresses and hugs can be perceived as a source of anxiety or even pain. Compliments and encouragements seem to fall flat and do not bring about the normal positive reaction one would expect to receive. And yet, I'm convinced that in the mix of all the cards floating around constantly in Max's head, it's essential that he finds the cards for love, pride, self-esteem, and acknowledgement. Perhaps he won't show any immediate sign that he found those particular cards, but at least I know that he will have them readily available when he needs them. Aww. That's sweet. School bag was really helpful today. In fact, it's a good thing Gage gave me this flashlight. Ah, oh, let's play vaccination one last time. It's very cool. Seriously, vaccines don't cause autism, of course. Get vaccinated. It's true, though. <laughs> anyway. I don't want to play this. Could we not do this now? Thanks. You lost. Here's your minigame results. Yes, I know. I didn't play. I didn't play. I- okay. I don't need to play. In fact, I know I can listen to my inner voice and make good choices. Oh, I can't wait for the next giant Size King of Monsters movie. Me too. Good idea. And with that, we can tuck in. And say hi to our dad. You ready, buddy? Yes, Papa. In fact, I'm very tired. I don't doubt it. Quite a day, huh? I drew a new picto for your bravery tonight. Did you read it? Yes, thanks, Papa. I love you very, very much, my little, great little guy. Me too. Oh, and Papa? Yes, Max? What are we having for dinner tomorrow? <laughs> we'll see tomorrow, buddy. In fact, I'm being serious. <laughs> Good night, my great little guy. Big hug and kiss. Blah. Good night. That light switch kind of popped out of nowhere, but okay. In fact, I hope it's pizza. In <laughs> fact. <sighs> Don't we all always hope it's pizza? Except for those that are allergic. Oh, it's over. Aw, that was a sweet and adorable little story. I'm glad I finally got to finish it. I think this was a nice little thing. It was educational. It taught you a bit about uh, about those with uh, an aut on the autism spectrum disorder. I thought that was a nice little thing. As someone who has a family member on the spectrum as well, it was nice to see just kind of like other people's experiences with it, and even through the mind of the actual child. I think it's a really nice touch. This was really cute. The art was really cute, the music was nice, the storyline of it was really interesting, kind of going through his day from when he wakes up to when he finally goes to bed. This was a really sweet and nice little thing. Obviously it had a few glitches here and there, but I think those don't take away from the actual message of it. It teaches you more about autism, it teaches you more about what 
how you go through with everything. I think it's a really nice and really sweet little game. And obviously it was done, at least from the looks of things, it was done by a parent who has a child in that kind of situation and kind of explaining their experience from raising Max or, you know, Well, uh, let's see what the special thanks says, actually. This project was an inspire as inspiring as it was hard. I want to thank Genevieve Moner, my incomparable partner, as well as our four children, Sean, Michael, Maxine, Elizabeth, and Charles, for your patience and boundless inspiration. A big thank you also goes to all the great people who have worked in any way to accomplish this project. For all of the children who are different and all the love of from their parents. Ah, uh, and it was get, and part percentage of the sales have given to a special organization just for people with an autism spectrum disorder. So you are also giving, as well as learning, and that's a nice thing. And I'm very much grateful for playing. So thank you, Steph, and your family for sharing this lovely story. This was nice. I'm glad I got to play this. A little sad it's over, but at the same time, like everything, life continues. And I hope that all of you learned a little something along the way. And enjoyed it as much as I did. So, from me to you, and from probably the developers, so I guess I could say thank you, but I can't really speak on their behalf, so I'll just say on my behalf, thank you for joining me on this little journey. And I'm glad I got to finish this. I hope that everybody got at least a little bit of, of something out of this. So, I don't know what the next game I will be playing on the channel will be, but I look forward to it, and I hope you do too. So, for now. This is Star Princess HLC saying, thank you very much for watching, and have a fond farewell.